Assalamualaikum. Today I am going to discuss about Erexel IAL AS Physics Past Question Paper Solution May June 2022 Unit 1 Section A MCQ Question number 1 A machine has a power of 750 watt and transfer 150 kilojoule of energy during a time t. Which of the following expression give uh, t in second? We know power equals to work done divided by time. So we have to uh, find out the expression time t equal to work done divided by power. In this question, uh, power uh, is 750 watt and energy transfer 150 kilojoule 150 kilojoule we have to convert this uh, kilojoule into joule multiplied by 1000 and power is 750 watt so correct answer here correct answer is c now question number two a sphere falls through a viscous liquid as shown. Look at the diagram. Uh, which row of the table uh, describe the up thrust and viscous drag on the sphere? Up thrust force when any solid object submerges fully inside a liquid or gas then it produces uh, an upward force that force is known as up thrust so up thrust force remains constant on the other hand if the object uh, falls downwards with a velocity then uh, and it accelerates so uh, drag force viscous drag force increasing so correct answer will be b correct answer will be B because uh, it accelerates downwards if it accelerates downwards then viscous drag force increases because viscous drag force according to the Stokes theorem 6 pi eta rv so if the velocity increases then drag force increases that's why uh, viscous drag force increasing uh, drag force increasing because it accelerates downwards now question number three question number three which of the following is a scalar quantity do you know what is the scalar quantity the physical quantity which have only magnitude no direction is called scalar quantity force is a vector quantity momentum is a vector quantity velocity is a vector quantity so only work work is a scalar quantity though uh, work is the product of force and displacement force and displacement both are vector quantity but the product is a dot product that means a scalar product that's why work remember work done is a scalar quantity now question number four question number four the graph shows the relationship between the tensile stress and tensile strain for a material. Look at the graph. This is a tensile stress versus tensile strain graph. So, which of the following gives the Young modulus of the material? We know Young modulus, Young modulus uh, uh, y equal to uh, longitudinal stress divided by longitudinal strain so tensile 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 stress tensile stress divided by 
ten, uh, divided by tensile strain. Tensile strain is divided by tensile strain. So, within the breaking point, uh, the stress divided by the strain at the breaking point, no, the gradient of the tangent of the line at the origin, the origin is the, is the, so correct answer is C, because uh, if we uh, find out the gradient, gradient means rise by run, that means tensile stress divided by tensile strain. Now question number five. Question number five, look at the question number five. A student determined uh, a value for G by dropping a metal sphere from rest. The student measured the distance fallen and the time taken for the sphere to fall. The student obtained a value G 11.2 meter per second square. Which of the following would explain the difference between the student's value and the accurate value? Because because uh, the student measured the distance was greater than the actual distance. That's why. So, the student measured the distance more. The student's measured distance was greater than the actual distance. Question number six. A rocket is accelerating horizontally due to a constant resultant force. The mass of the rocket decreases steadily as it uses up its fuel. Which graph shows how the acceleration of the rocket could change? Uh, acceleration increases. Rocket is accelerating horizontally due to a constant resultant force. The mass of the rocket decreases steadily, steadily as it uses up its fuel. So, correct answer is B. Correct answer is B. Now, question number uh, seven. Question number seven. Uh, two arrangements, P and Q, of uh, identical springs are subjected to the same tensile force if as shown. In the P diagram, two springs are connected in series. In diagram Q, two springs are connected in parallel. When one spring is subjected to a tensile stress force A, the elastic uh, strain energy for the spring is E. Which row of the table gives the total elastic strain energy for each arrangement? So, correct answer is D. Uh, because when uh, two springs are connected in series, then elastic strain energy becomes double. On the other hand, if uh, two springs, identical springs, are connected in parallel, then strain energy, elastic strain energy will be half. Now, question number eight. Uh, the velocity time graph shows the motion of a particle with a constant acceleration. PQR represents the magnitude of each area shown. Which of the following expressions give the total displacement of the particle? Total displacement, total displacement, uh, the following graph shows the motion of the particle with constant acceleration, constant acceleration. So remember, 
area under the R minus area under the Q. So correct answer will be D. Now question number nine. A cyclist rode along a slope at a constant speed. The increase in vertical height of the cyclist was delta H. The slope was at an angle theta to the horizontal as shown. The forward force of the road on the bicycle was F and air resistance was negligible. Which of the following gives the work done by the cyclist? Work done by the cyclist. So force, uh, remember the forward force of the road on the bicycle was F and air resistance was new. The forward force. So here forward force is F. We need uh, a vertical force. That's why F sine theta So the forward force on the road on the bicycle was F and air resistance was negligible. Which of the following gives the work done by the cyclist? Work done by the cyclist. Cyclist rode along a slope at constant speed. The increase in vertical height of the uh, cyclist was delta H. The slope was at an angle theta. So the correct answer is D. The right answer is D. Now question number 10. Question number 10. Uh, when uh, compressed, compressed by a force 50 Newton, a spring had a length 12 centimeter. When compressed by a force 70 Newton, the same spring had a length 7.1 centimeter. Which of the following expression gives the Steepness K of the spin in Newton per centimeter. Okay, correct answer is T. Because we need when compressed force uh, 50 Newton, I spring had a length 12 centimeter. When the compressed force is 70 Newton, same spring, a uh, length is 7.1 centimeter. So who is a, So we know steepness equal to uh, f by x. So here we need delta change in f divided by change in x. So uh, change in force, uh, 70 newton minus 50 newton divided by divided by 12. Uh, 12 centimeter minus 4.9 centimeter is the expression. So, correct answer is D. No more today. This is the uh, last question for section A. If you like this video, subscribe my channel. Press the uh, bell, uh, bell button and share my video with your friends. Tata, bye bye.